You know, we are the Quebec family band. Like, we're not, like, too cool to hang out with you. Like, we want to get to know you. Like, that's why we're here. We didn't drive eight hours just to get back in the van and go back out again. I mean, we really want to hang out with you. I mean, that's... We get to meet different people all over across the country. We get to hear different stories that we never thought we'd ever learn. And we get to just make genuine relationships with people. And it's, it's just really cool. And that's probably the biggest inspiration to why we're able to write uh, and, 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 and go into the studio and be able to work with each other because we're not really telling our own stories lots of times. We're telling other people's stories. We started the band about four years ago uh, at Nashville, Tennessee. Um, Kelsey and I actually met each other in a bike store, and uh, one of her boyfriend at the time was working at the store next door. So, and he was my friend, so we got introduced to each other and we're like, hey, we should play music sometimes. So I came over to kind of have a kumbaya little session one afternoon, like all college students do at one point, play acoustic guitars around, pass them around. Kelsey and I started singing some songs together, and then um, on actually Halloween, it's on the first day, her and I officially wrote songs together. I was Mother Nature. And I was nothing, because my family didn't celebrate Halloween. So, it's witchcraft, you um, think so. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, and then... I had made a joke constantly about how I wanted to be in a band called the Benny Rodriguez Family Band, which is like from Sandlot. I thought that would be cool. But nobody got that other than the kids who watch Sandlot a lot. Um, and so I made a joke about Kopecky, Kopecky, Kopecky Family Band all the time. And Sounds like a Polish family band. And uh, we played our first show at a clothing store and we needed a band name, so we just said we're the Kopecky Family Band. And four years later, here we are. And uh, we, With yeah, our best friend. Really, like it was cool because we all kind of, we didn't know we played music. Um, like, we, David was one of our good friends, so it was Marcus and Steven, and, and Corey actually came along later, but we all just knew each other, and we just started playing, we were like, oh, you play cello? That's cool. Oh, you play drums? That's even better. So we started a band, and I kept nagging David to get his drums from his uncle's attic for a long time, and that's how we did it. Talking about subject matter of our songs, I think one of the really cool things that's happened for us as a band as we've grown up together has been when we write, it's almost like a moment that we're all together wherever we are writing and it's like we're not trying to plan like let's write a love song or let's write this, it's kind of like whatever we're feeling as a band, how we want our bodies to move to the music or how we want whatever is on our minds at that moment, which I think is just a really honest thing. And that's why having these EPs has been really cool because they're literally so true to that time of our lives. The bottom line with our music and the way that we write is that we want to be uh, kind of all inclusive and uh, kind of speak uh, uh, universally to people and mm -hmm. in, in a way that like something that everybody can relate to in a sense, you know, I mean, obviously there's, there's specific subject matter, but, you know, kind of speaking to the human condition almost, you know, and I don't mean that to be a pretentious, like, you know, whatever, but, you know, just something that really does include everybody and not like keeping people out, more of just like opening up to people. lot of songs on the table that we liked and we didn't exactly know how we wanted to share them but um, after those days in the studio it was really easy and magical and after we had like this collection of five songs that kind of were an afterthought to our first record The Disaster so it's like The Disaster of Epic Proportions and yeah it was a, a nice little compilation of songs and we decided since we love artwork and everything like that we're like let's just make another EP and kind of a time capsule of this time in our 
lives as a band. The actual recording process was a was a little bit it was bizarre. different it was than like what we were used to. It was like speed dating, because like, well, not really speed dating, but you came in, and I remember every time the song seemed really different, because like Marcus had been there, or yeah, had right. done new guitar stuff, or like changed a verse of a song and then i would come in and like write the second verse and it was just like crazy we had like we all came complete together. songs that like literally we would start one day and then the next day it was a completely different song <laughs> i remember one day coming in and hearing this remix that we had made of our song god and me and like david and gabe and some other people had like made this fat remix Marcus, yeah and i'm talking phat fat <laughs> yeah. that means cool right You know, we've been out on the road for a little while now, and we got to take a few days off the other day and, and write um, for about two days, and we've got a, a hefty amount of songs. And so we're we're looking forward to it. We don't know yet if we're going to do another full, if we're going to do a full length or like an EP. Um, I think all of us are really ready to do a full length because we've done three EPs now, but it seems a little bit you know, easier just to record an EP and get that out there. And Not that we're lazy. Right, just but <laughs> economic. It just takes more effort than, it, it, it's right. just a lot. It, it involves a lot. But, but, I, but think, I think, you know, we've all been starting to write together more as a band. Because a lot of our first songs were a lot of Gabe and Kelsey writing the core of it and then bringing it to the table, whereas this next record is going to be a, a lot more of the six of us inputting on writing. Um, which is which is a lot of fun. It changes it up, and it it feels it feels really good. So now we're kind of slowly testing them out with the audience. Like tonight, we did we tested out one of the brand brand new ones, called Touch and Go, and then we did two other ones that we've been kind of merged into our set over the last couple of months, which are the other new ones that we're going to put on the record. So we're as we play them, we're realizing that we want to change things and figure things out. But we're really excited. Like I think no matter what we do, whether it's an EP full length, we're just eager to get out and do another thing. Hi, we're the Kopecky Family Band and you're watching Babel Music.